Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Beautiful Joe. This is the second episode of the game. Uh, it's kind of lame that I only did one chapter per part, but uh, I guess Joe must go on, so... Eh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, I'm kinda, I gotta be quicker in this. I mean, cuts. I know the cutscenes in the beginning were long and stuff, but oh my gosh, that was just embarrassing. Uh, I don't, I don't feel like doing this. A uh, little puzzle right here, guess what? Ooh. Balls using the V-Watch again. We gotta slow down time. We gotta jump in a thing of water. And that water's gonna open that gate, and we're gonna stink and just mosey on. And there's somebody throwing barrels. So, is Donkey Kong in this game too? What the heck? Yeah. But anyways, uh, the canister is not really that. Oh, come on. Okay, come on. Come on. Slide. Alright, yeah. That shows off my slide move I got. And the V-Points are bad, but who cares? Because I'm not really trying to do these professionally. Alright, let's just, uh. <laughs> I mean, the combos you can do are just so ridiculous. Like, you can just, yet again, take out a whole army in, like, one attack. As long as there's other people stupid enough to get hit. But now, this game does get a lot harder. Because the enemies get very different. Yeah, let's pick up some of the canned stuff. Missed, a few. missed two! Must get those two. Oh, crap. See, that, that's, the only, that's the only thing you don't want to do in this game, really. You don't want that to happen. Any. Man, the GameCube controller is so loud, no matter what I do, I can never make this thing shut up. Never wants to be quiet, ever. Yeah, if you didn't know these uh, blue things, I don't know what the crud they're supposed to be, but they refill your uh, V gauge so you can burn it. And just, yeah. It's kind of self explanatory, so I don't need to explain it if it's self explanatory, right? Joe, it's time for your next trial. Hope you're warmed up, cause ready or not, here I come! Yes, indeed, here he comes. We have to fight Captain Blue yet again. I can... This time we're very well prepared and we dodge almost all of his attacks. Uh, yeah! <laughs> and Blue is a pushover. No wonder he lost against the Jato guys. Yeah, now he's gonna give us one of my favorite things in the game, mock speed! And we can kick and punch super stinking fast. And while we're kicking and punching super fast, little miniature Joes will appear in the background and punch stuff for us. And we're also on fire. Did I mention that? But yeah, uh, we're gonna upcut, and then we're gonna do that. That's how you get through that little puzzle. Yeah, I'm, I just do. I just do not care about the film canisters in the first chapter. So I'm just gonna speed up and get the credit out of here. And I'm probably not gonna get a lot of beautifuls, and I probably won't be able to show all the moves. I'll show the really good ones probably for the most part. Gonna get a cheeseburger, and there you go. That's <laughs> yeah. Yet again, I get awesome. Cause blah blah blah. Man, this is the worst commentary ever. Stop talking about your stupid. <laughs> Stupid, ew, I'm Johnny, yes. <laughs> See how cool I am? Oh, wait, I'm not. And also, um, you can hold down the, uh, for the left trigger, you do the slowdown. And for the right trigger, you do the speed up. And if you hold them at the same exact time, you can move fast while in slow mo. So that's really useful. Uh, mock speed isn't really that good for attacking. Because the enemies also move at mock speed. I'll show you. Well, most of them do. Well, the later enemies. Uh, Mock speed will be almost completely useless when fighting them. It still looks really cool though. But now Donkey Kong's throwing stinking like porcupine like barrels at us, so we need to get the get the poo banana pudding out of here. And yeah, I got another awesome thing. I'm just I'm just now I'm tearing through these levels. Uh, another puzzle you gotta do, you gotta set these things on fire. Set enemies on fire, I think it does more damage or something. One boss though, you actually have to set them on fire by doing that. That's a different story. And uh, like four minutes or so and we're Done with the second level. Now let's try and power up. Mm. I want Red Hot Kick. That's probably the, one of my favorite abilities in the game. So I'm gonna save up for that. I think in the, in the VFX turbocharger. Um, I made a mistake. Live and life. Lives are pretty much useless. Lives are very important. And take twos basically it doubles your health. Very useful. Take twos are like practically broken. Anyways, we must move on. The show must go on. Yes, that cliche. There's a lot of movie cliches and whatnot. Hey, this place looks pretty spooky. There's some nice scented candles, though. They look comforting. Uh, jump up here some more film canisters. Yeah, like I said, I'm not going to get like all the film canisters because this is stupid and annoying. And yeah, there's some weird background images. Like, what is this supposed to be? Oh, it's weird. That guy looks really weird. Ugh. Ugh. I don't want to stare at that too much longer. Yeah, let's punch this coffin. <laughs> oh, dead 
sister, my beauty sleep. Captain has heard this movie is already over. <laughs> Captain Brill's defeated, and we are victorious. <laughs> Shows you what you know, bat brain. In movies, there has to be a plot twist. That means things always go wrong once before you get to the happy ending. Hello? Now, come on. Let's get this over with. Biff, oh, what nonsense he speaks. Come, I call the ritual of sacrifice will begin in your pathetic little world when... Well, poopsie, poopsie. <laughs> Almost left the cat out of the bed there. <laughs> in any case, this has nothing to do with Rick Rap right the only thing left for you to do is a banish. <laughs> All right. All right, it's boss time. This is the first boss of Beautiful Joe. Duh, because we haven't fought a boss before. Uh, yeah, the, he's a member of Jado, and uh, his little power is to throw these boomerang things, which you can easily dodge if you slow mo while about this right before they're gonna hit you. But I didn't slow mo fast enough. And yeah, uh, you, you, he'll he'll drill the ceiling, and then uh, these spiky things will come down. What you can do is you can upper, no, you can, uh, you can uppercut them right into him, and you can proceed to punch his face in. Uh, very easy boss. Uh, most of the bosses have little things that make them, or actually all of them, have little things that make them a lot easier to beat. And, uh, whoops. Accidentally ran out of VFX, and when you run out of VFX, you turn back your Rover Joe and you're a lot weaker. Yeah. Uh, once you dodge something, though, you do get beautifuls for it, so. I mean, beautifuls really aren't that hard to get, really. They're just kind of. Yeah. The currency in this game isn't really too hard. If, if, if you're. If you feel like grinding and getting stuff, I mean, you can do that, but I sure don't. And it's already over! <laughs> Sorry to wake you up. You can sleep as much as you want now. Joe wanders into the world of the movies and gallantly fights evil to rescue Sylvia. With the help of his superior strength, he is able to reign triumphant over the dastardly bad man, Charles III. Where could Sylvia be? Is she safe? Is she even alive? Intolerable anxiety tears at Joe's heart. What did they do to her? Hmm, what would be a good hero name? I never thought this would be so hard. Searching for Sylvia, Joe tries to track clues as to her whereabouts. Little did he know that the clues would only lead him to more problems. The next episode is some like it red hot. See you there. Okay, and uh, once you beat a boss, it actually gives you a little rundown of all your scores and ranks and stuff, and gives you a nice little bonus of beautiful points. So yeah, not too bad. Uh, I'm going to save though. And man, we haven't. What have we even doing this episode? I know we beat a boss and did one stage, but I'm already at the eight minute mark. I'm, I'm gonna keep on recording. Gosh. Anyways, let's go on to the next episode, which is apparently some like it red hot, which is a reference to whatever. Actually, I'm gonna power up and get that red hot kick, like I said I was gonna do. No, don't, don't exit. Oh, God. And uh, can I buy anything? I don't know. Yeah, I can buy a life up. Not too bad. No, I can't. Stupid. Doesn't cost three hundred. Cost three thousand. Anyways, let's get it on. Like, is that Sylvia saying that? I don't really know. It's kind of weird. Anyways, um, what else to talk about? Not really. I can't really think of anything else to talk about other than some like it red hot apparently. And I kind of like how it does a silhouette of the bosses. I like games that do that. It's like, what is that? I have to know. Yeah, nice little scene change going on here in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. No, it's not. It's just beautiful, Joe. And now that we got the red hot kick. Yeah, I love that so much. The only thing you can do over here, though, is you normally don't have to fight these guys, but I decided to. I mean, it, it's not required. You can just go to the right and not even know about this. But, yeah. After every chapter, though, uh, your v VMFX gauge is brought back down to one. That sucks. But it does make the game a little more challenging. And, yeah. yeah Red Hot Kick. Another thing the slide's good for is getting combos in. I mean, like, branching the combos to get even more beautifuls. See, I'll show you. Yeah, so I don't have to walk all the way over there. I'm gonna do the slide again. It doesn't do that much damage. It's just, you know, get pretty good beautifuls. And that gave me uh, about 10 of those. 
film canisters. The red film canisters give you a lot more than a blue one. They're harder to find. There's actually, you can actually get more than um, the required amount. You can get over, like, overload it, I guess you can say. I'm standing over hole, that makes no sense. Uh. Yeah, that's just another thing you do. I mean, I'm gonna stop talking about the game mechanics and just, like, talk about the real game. Because, I mean, the mechanics of this game aren't even that complicated for the most part. I mean, you speed things up and then you slow them down, and then sometimes you do other stuff. It's like, yeah, it's probably gonna go a lot faster now that I got the uh, speed up ability. Oh, come on, I, wanna, I wanted to do that, man. I don't like these cowboys. Because if they shoot you from too far, you stink and can't punch back their bullets. So it's just aggravating, it takes me off, man. I'm gonna eat hamburgers and I'm hungry. I'm actually not very hungry at all. I'm very full and very ready to do a let's play. Oh, why am I talking about... Yeah, I'm not hungry at all. This isn't good commentary. I should be talking about the video game, not stinking what I had to eat last night. Oh my gosh, that's just stupid. Nobody cares about that. They care about this awesome video game. Actually, it's a beautifully... Oh, dang it! I don't know. I think I skipped this in the credits, though. This is actually a game not made by Nintendo. It's made by Capcom and uh, Clover Studios, which is basically a, people, or a separate branch of Capcom that uh, they were... They gave them. They were designed. They're supposed to make games with. Um, they're supposed to make third party games with first party budgets. And they did, and this is one of them. Joe, my young apprentice, this is your last trial. If you overcome this trial, you will have acquired the last power. Now let's get this over with. Come and get me. 